When the oil bribery allegations surfaced in Parliament from the youth MP Gerard Karuhanga, lawmakers resolved to demand that government with immediate effect produces an enabling law that will be used to manage the sector, especially at a time when the country was about to go into oil production. Parliament barred government from signing any oil agreement until relevant laws are enacted. But instead, the Energy Minister Irene Mulon last Friday signed oil production sharing agreements with Taro Oil, which raised concerns from within the ranks of some lawmakers. If it was exploration, I would say yes, Taro can do exploration. But when it comes to production, it's not even among the top 500 companies in the world as far as production is concerned. At one time, the president of Ghana said, I cannot even risk wearing a glove to greet any of the directors of Taro. Some of you who might follow developments elsewhere in Africa will realize that we are the majority partner in the very large um, offshore field in Ghana, which has cost some four to five billion dollars to develop. In terms of technical capacity, we do have the technical capacity ourselves to develop the Lake Albert Basin, but we're not so arrogant to think that we are the best in everything. We bring in other partners who can bring in complementary skills. To Talo, Uganda Limited. Thank you very much. Muloni claimed she was acting on the directive from the president. Now this afternoon, the bill has been tabled before parliament. The other time we were just doing exploration, but now we are going for production. And in this bill, it is in line with the, the, what we call the, the oil policy oil and the gas policy, in that now this one captures the issue of the, the authority. Apparently, they chose to first sign the agreements and then bring the bills. We've been saying government is playing double standards for a long time. I thought we were joking. But so long as the old one is not repealed, there is no way you'll, not say, you'll say that. There is no law. The law is there. The Petroleum Exploration, Development and Production Bill 2012, if passed into law, will replace the Obsolute Oil Act that the government of Uganda has been using for more than two decades to regulate the oil sector. The bill also seeks to put into effect Article 244 of the 1995 Constitution to regulate the petroleum exploration, development and production. It will also establish Petroleum Authority of Uganda, provide for the National Oil Company, and regulate the licensing and participation of commercial entities in petroleum activities in the country, among others. The bill has been committed to the Parliamentary Committee on Natural Resources for further scrutiny. And President Yoweri Museveni is also expected to make an impromptu address to Parliament concerning oil matters on Friday this week. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament.